Have you ever stopped to consider just how much flour each Brumby's bakery goes through in just one day? Well, we're about to take you to an Australian-owned mill that produces enough flour each day for 50 Brumby's bakeries all year. Evolving from humble flour mill beginnings, these days, Manildra Group is a diverse agribusiness, celebrating nearly 65 years and four generations of successful family business operations. Based in regional New South Wales, Manildra Group proudly partners with over 5,000 local farmers, value adding to wheat, sugar, canola, beef and lamb. Buying 100% of their requirements direct from Australian farmers, Manildra has four state-of-the-art flour mills in the heart of the Australian wheat belt, Manildra, Gunnedah, Narandra and Nowra. Producing a full range of flours for bakery goods, pastas, noodles, tortillas, batters, breadings and breakfast cereals, Manildra exports their Australian-made products to over 38 countries and exclusively supplies Brumby's Bakery with the flour needed to bake your favourite fresh bread. Well, the milling process is quite a complex process. It may sound simple that we bring in wheat, but when we bring in wheat, we're looking for various quality parameters with that wheat. We then come up with the right blend of wheats to meet the customer's requirements. And we want to meet what the customer needs, not just give them the product that we think they should get. Technology has grown in the flour milling industry, but I'd say most of it has been around automation and making sure our process remains in control. The company has always expanded its horizons and looked not only in Australia, but overseas. And we've had great growth in Australia and in our export markets. But it's also about opening up new markets. We think that promoting Australian manufacturing is very important and I think there's been some opportunities with our company where we could have done things in a different way, but we've always chosen to do it locally. I have children of my own and I'd like to see that our family have products that are made in Australia for many years to come. Where do you see the mill here in five years' time? Uh, we'll have continued development here on site in terms of the way we make products and the types of products that we make into the future. We make everything from retail products through the products that go into bakeries and bulk goods. And I'm sure there'll be change in that as we move forward. What about the, the farmers out there doing it tough? Our principle for buying wheat is that we like to buy that directly from the farmer. So that's very important to us. Over time, those links will become closer and I guess they're becoming broader now with the amount of products that we buy. Just in our local area, we'll have farmers who will grow wheat as well as canola that are used in our group. Manildra have always been a very active purchaser of grain from this part of the world, or in fact, a big area of New South Wales. We're very close to the flour mill here, so always been very fair with the pricing, you know, competitive pricing, and we either deliver it to the flour mill, deliver it into the storage at Manildra, keep it on farm and deliver later, so there's a lot of flexibility there. The relationship with the Manildra flour mill has continued to grow, and certainly Manildra is a mighty important part of this community. Manildra is proud to be a part of the community. It's certainly been very important to the township here because we've created employment for the local area. And more broadly, if you think about infrastructure, whether that's trucking companies and farmers, etc. So trucking companies bringing wheat in and also taking our product away. That's industry in its own, as well as engineering support. So we're important to the community, but you know we don't want to hold ourselves above the community. We're part of the community. OK, one of the things that I found fascinating in the lab was the extent of interest you have in the product as far as the usability. Tell, take us through that journey. In our testing regimes, we're not only looking at protein and moisture of the resultant flour, we actually put it through some dough tests that tells us how much water would that flour absorb and how long should it be mixed for. And that's really important to the dough maker out at the Brumby store he knows that he can add the same amount of water as he did yesterday, mix it for the same amount of time, and he's going to get a great result. And it's all about making sure that that uh, happens every day. It's actually the skill of our millers and the way we set up our equipment that makes the most of that wheat and the flour that comes from that. We can do all the analytical tests, but we have a test bakery here on site, and we bake product every day to make sure it meets our standards. How reliant is Brumby's upon you to deliver quality? I think they're highly reliant on us and they expect us to deliver quality every day and that's what we do.